So this room right here is the It had been over five years. Day. All he got was 15 minutes. He savored every second. Two, two and a half, three feet bigger than what she was the last time I seen her. Um, the most beautiful looking kid ever. And it was just a lot, you know, um, I cried. Lorenzo King sharing the experience of reuniting with his daughter. Born when he was 19, a breakup with her mother and hard times followed. He reintroduced himself with love and an apology. I'm sorry that I've been away for some time, but she had a few questions. I answered them and the main thing that we did, we read books for the first three sessions. So that made it a lot more comfortable. We colored a few, uh, uh, colored a few papers. I'm sorry, we're getting a little emotional. <laughs> the day was just a lot. He credits Dr. Charles Daniels for making that day and many happy more in the three years since possible. A father himself raised by a single mother, it was in graduate school when Daniels started a support group at the Dimmick Center. It changed his perspective on his own childhood. If your father is absent, that means that your father doesn't care about you and you are not worthy of his love. That was the assumption that I made. But those dads completely dismantled that assumption. They love their children. They were struggling with a substance use related issue, depression, anxiety. The idea for Father's Uplift was born. The nonprofit provides coaching, therapy, substance use treatment, and countless other supports. Poverty, their fight with mental health, their fight with substance use, right? That fight of just trying to pick up the phone Shame, guilt, and embarrassment will make that phone 200 pounds. Dad struggled with picking up the phone. I want to tell that story. It's not talked about enough. In many cases, he says it's a vicious cycle. Kids without a father so often struggle and then repeat the behavior. That was the case for Lorenzo, who entered foster care at 13. Currently, we know that there are roughly 5 million fathers that see their children less than once a month. These are fathers to at least 10 million children in the United States today. But there's no dad dreams of being a deadbeat. We have to do a better job in making fathers feel important. I'm talking about the dads that, are, that really struggle, even dads behind bars that are struggling to stay engaged in their kids' lives. Learning how to navigate the court system to be granted visitation is part of what helped Lorenzo. He now mentors other dads. Any father out there who needs help, uh, who hasn't seen their kid, who feels like their family is breaking up. Father's Uplift is here, and we're here to help. Funded in part by grants, we learned about Father's Uplift through the Draper Kaplan Foundation. That's a philanthropic firm that finds, funds, and supports social impact entrepreneurs. And boy, is Father's Uplift having an impact. Dads often find them through word of mouth. But, you know, in speaking with Dr. Daniels, there are so many barriers. Even oh, yeah. just, you know, if someone's kind of leaving uh, the criminal justice system, they need stable housing before they can see their kids, and there's not enough low-cost housing, and there's so many reasons why families get separated. No, and that's important work yeah. they're doing because it changes a lot mm -hmm. of lives. Yeah.